Aloha and welcome back, my name's Shane. Today I'm going to give you a taste of what frequent flyers describe as the best first class food that Qantas has to offer visiting the exclusive Qantas Singapore First Lounge. And while I'm not flying up in the pointy end today, come along on an overnight flight in economy class on a Qantas A330 service through to Sydney and I'll show you an alternative to the Super Jumbo QF2. My stomach can't wait, so let's go. Qantas' first international flight in 1935 was here to a struggling colonial Singapore. Now, Singapore is the richest country in Asia, and today you can expect a digital check-in and bag drop with assistance from staff where required. This lounge can be accessed if you're flying first class with Qantas or are an Emerald frequent flyer with One World flying a One World airline. The Asian inspired menu here is curated by Australian food icon Neil Perry with the expertise of executive chef Linda Sim. If you look closely, you'll likely find an exclusive dish from Linda as well, something that you'll only ever be able to experience here in the Singapore First Lounge. I'm not one to say no to a margarita and this one is a sour plum. I wonder what would happen if I missed my flight and just stayed here. With some olives and fries to start, I couldn't go past the prawn wontons in black vinegar and chilli and to be fair I've had these before and they're absolutely sensational. And a couple more mugs. This is a Milo Dinosaur Panna Cotta. How good does that look? We got chatting to Vivian, who's one of the hosts here, and she'd recommended the Torta de Verona. Let me give you a quick sticky peek through the shower room as well. Well, that was an absolute treat. Now it's time to roll to the gate and board my economy flight through to Sydney. Tonight's flight through to Sydney is on a 19 year old Airbus A330 series, registration Victor Hotel, Quebec Papaya Echo. This one's named by Qantas as Port Lincoln. Departing Singapore tonight will fly southeast around the volcanoes on the Indonesian islands, across the centre of Australia and into the harbour city of Sydney, landing just before sunrise. It may not be first class, but that doesn't matter. For many Aussies and expats who have spent time away and missing their families, the music on Qantas is like a big warm hug. And throw in a few margaritas, it's a very warm hug. Thankfully though, I've managed to find my seat.
The cabin is organized in a 242 configuration and my seat today is 25K. For an economy seat, there are a few thoughtful inclusions in this design. There's a decent sized touchscreen with the audio and USB port tucked under the bottom of it. And right below the screen is a small pocket for cables, which I absolutely love. You can tuck things out of the way to give you better access to your seat. The tray table is bifold and also has a device groove on the back. Just being able to fold it half away makes it feel much less claustrophobic but still gives you somewhere to balance your wine. One of my favourite additions on this seat design is the foot hammock that they've got underneath. I've got pretty big feet and long legs, so to be able to keep them off the floor makes it a lot more comfy. There's a universal power plug below the armrest and air vents overhead. When you find your seat, there's a small pillow and a nice tactile blanket designed again by David Kayon. Pontus always have a good selection on their IFE and if you're travelling with kids, there's a kids mode and parental controls as well. If you're travelling with friends, there's also a seat chat function too. And now it's time for a quick loo review. I'm not sure why everybody likes to see this, but here you go anyway. And yes, it's still a gross plain toilet.
The most exciting thing is that the air freshener is built into the soap. And now time for some more dinner. The pre-ordered vegetarian curry looks okay, but from the menu tonight, I've gone for the tofu noodles and vegetables, and I always seem to go for a ginger ale as well. It tastes so much more refreshing in the dry cabernet. In all honesty, I kind of expected to have to pick the tofu out of this dish, but somehow Qantas have made this tofu surprisingly tasty. And the herb bread is absolutely delicious. Before we land, let me wrap up this trip review. The 242 configuration and this particular seat is my favourite for long haul Qantas in economy. The foot hammock, the cable storage pocket, the bifold table with grooves for your drink and device are all really nice additions. While these are simple, that little extra thought goes a long way. Unfortunately, not all the A330 fleet have this type of seat. Legroom on Qantas is typically average. I'm 6 foot 1 and my knees weren't touching the seat in front, but Qantas really do squeeze you into economy. And now the food and the service. There were some really good vegetarian options on Qantas tonight, and I'm still in shock about the tasty tofu. Overall, I liked the food, but a decent dessert would have made it even better. The name of the cabin manager on this flight was Brad, and while the economy service can often be really transactional, this crew were experienced, worked well together, and engaged with all the passengers, not just rushing to get their job done. This flight was paid for with a Qantas award fare redemption of 25,000 Qantas points. According to Google Flights, you could expect to pay around 830 Australian dollars one way for this flight. Carry on and checked luggage is included with all Qantas fares. Overall, good food, great service and we're on track for an on-time arrival. There was a wide selection of entertainment on board and with a comfortable cabin this makes it a flight worth considering. And there you have it, an Econo Lux experience with Qantas. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, safe travels. Thank you.